we are a young couple. I am Philip, and this is Laura, my wife, and we are going to show y'all the shells we used, and we're going to show y'all the guns. Um, we kept here in Turkey, and we were trying to shoot at the turkey. I was able to find a few, see them, shoot at them. She saw the turkey, but she didn't shoot at the turkey because she saw it through the through the binoculars. You know, she stood out there and she kind of looked and she saw the turkey on the far end of the field. And you know, we weren't close enough for her to take the shot, so she didn't shoot it. You know, if we were able to hunt here in Texas with an AR-15 in the spring turkey season, you know, I would have brought my AR-15 and we would have, you know been able to get a turkey so anyways honey so the gun she used is the Russie 22 long rifle and for you gun nuts and social justice warriors and all you people that get you know screaming on the internet about gun safety it is unloaded so you can see now that we determine that you know it's not loaded This thing, it shot well for me. Remember when we went to the range, honey? Yeah. And you didn't shoot that bad with this gun. She didn't get to shoot a turkey on this trip, but this is her preferred gun at the gun range or the handgun that we both have. We share a handgun because mm -hmm. that's, you know, we're a gun couple, so we, we share a gun and stuff. For her protection and mine but you know this is about the turkey trip so we'll get back to that. it's another video for another day anyways this gun the Russie 22 long rifle you can see it's got a scope on it this is a scope I got for Christmas and I let her use my first gun I, I, I ever bought this is a gun I bought during the start of the coronavirus epidemic I call it an epidemic I don't call it a pandemic because it's not as bad as the Black Plague, so, you know, that's, you know, not gonna get into that, but, you know, still a bad virus, but, you know, like I said, not gonna get into it, um, but, anyways, it's not a bad gun. She even shot a few times, not at turkeys, but she shot a few rounds. Didn't you shoot into the grass? You shot into the grass, I remember. Remember the, when we were in the other side of the field, we were close to Whitney State Park. We went to Whitney, Texas for our turkey hunt in Aquella. I don't remember. You don't remember? Or was it at, close to Lake Aquella that you shot a few rounds? I don't know. I think it was Lake Aquella. We've slept since then, so, <laughs> you know, it was pretty exciting, though, for both of us. And, you know, we... Uh, Everyone goes hunting because they love it. That is right. Everybody that goes hunting loves it. And the ones that go hunting, they go for, you know, for their own personal reasons. We went to try to go get a turkey for food. So that's why, you know, we, you know, went there to turkey hunt is for food. And this is the magazine we used. It's one that, and it's not loaded, just like the gun's not loaded. You see, goes in there. And the ammo that she used was the CCI Mini Mag 22 long rifle. Now, if you want to see this one, what it is, let me get one of these little suckers out. It's one of those where it's kind of hard to get just one out. Get more than one out. Let's see if I can get. There we go. It's one of these. It's a very small rifle. You'd have to, very small, very small bullet. You'd have to shoot a couple of these rounds into the turkey to kill it, do some damage enough to slow it down. So to really catch a turkey with this gun, you'd have to shoot it about four, five, six, seven times just to get the turkey. And that was the gun she used and stuff, but we kept, like I said, we kept hearing the turkey, 
Because remember, honey, when we were out at Lake Aquila, we didn't really hear the turkey, but then we got close to Whitney State Park, how we kept hearing the turkey and stuff. Remember how we kept hearing it? We saw it, we heard it on that one side, then yeah. we went across and we kept... I've actually spotted the turkey, but we didn't get out there quicker enough to shoot that turkey. Which is fine, it was our first time turkey hunting, so, you know. You know, it was our first time, so we're still learning about turkey hunting and everything. And I bought a few calls, and you know, <laughs> like I said, it's not about hunting. It's not a hunting channel. It's a gun channel. And for me, the gun I used was my Etro 12 gauge. And as you can see again, it's not loaded. We'll reach in here. not loaded and the safety's on like I said we're at, at our apartment so I don't want to pull the trigger and scare someone because they're not loaded we just don't want to make someone we don't want to wake someone up or make someone think and the and the ammo I used I, I brought out the federal three inch the waterfowl shot shells probably not the best but you know, three inches and like I said, it was a 12 gauge, so it was gonna blow them to hell, you know. But this is how big the shells are now. Think about it, something I was gonna say here on the video. I mean, think about something this big and something this big. Comment below who you think would bring home a turkey, who you think would bring bring home some turkey for us to eat if it would be her or I now I would have the 12 gauge the bigger the bigger gun she would have the smaller ammo now we haven't posted in a while I'll speak on that because we have been kind of busy and we went hunting, we really wanted to focus on it. We focused on being out in nature and we really loved being out in nature, you know, catching food. You can get rabbit when you go hunting, if you go at a certain time of, uh, not a certain time of year, but if you go on certain property, you can get rabbit from what I was reading. You can go on private land. You gotta ask the owner and get their permission and you gotta, or you just gotta know somebody and you can get rabbit. Same thing with alligator. If you're brave enough to hunt alligator, I'm not brave enough to hunt alligator. Would you hunt an alligator, honey? No. But I know some stuff about alligators. A little bit. She knows more about animals than I do, so she's more <laughs> smart about that. Squirrels. You can hunt squirrels. And there's other animals you can look up on the on the app that we have. Let me pull the app up from her phone here and tell y'all if I have it on here. Okay, I, I don't have it on here, but we use the uh, Texas Harvesting Log. If you go on the app, it's a red app and it'll tell you the seasons you can get license on it it'll tell you you know deer season turkey season we went for turkey we didn't go for deer we went for turkey it's like 3 24 in the morning this is like our this is like our third or fourth attempt at this video and um when we went for turkey hunting her and I had fun. Didn't you have fun, honey? Yeah. We had fun. We put out the blind. We also walked through, so we had kind of a plan. Um, we did carry our firearms, and we did want to, you know, we did want to get a turkey. But, you know, you can't always, can't always get what you want. That's just how life is. Y'all know what I mean. Anyways. Y'all have a nice evening. There will be another video within the next day or two. I will be reviewing a handgun that we have video of. 
on our YouTube channel and I'll post it on the social medias and I'll post it on YouTube even though YouTube's a social media I'll, I'll post a picture and I'll be starting Twitch soon with us and we'll be streaming on Twitch we'll pro tomorrow will probably be our first day stream on Twitch for our YouTube channel so it's the same thing gun couple go follow us on there on Twitch and y'all have a nice night or a nice day whenever y'all are watching this it is almost 3 30 in the morning and y'all like subscribe and and uh, uh, thank you for watching the video and here is some clips of the hunting trip and photos. You'll have a nice day. All right, bye.